Good evening. I'm Donna Gray Banks, and I am the founder director of the Fresh Book Festival, which is held in the beautiful city of Daytona Beach every year. This year, it will be in February, and the dates are 22, 23, 24 February in the year of 2024. We're so excited about all oh, the good things that are coming up for this festival. It's our 13th year. We are going to, we are trying hard to find the first 13 authors that were with us 13 years ago. If you were one of those people, would you please reach out? We're trying to find pictures and the world has really changed in 13 years now. You know, I can go to find my Facebook page and find every picture that I want. But 13 years ago, that was just not the case. So uh, James Bennett, if you will reach out, I appreciate that. I know that um, Judge Grimes was there. Uh, um, Dr. Bethune was there. Uh, I've reached out to those three people. Milton McCulloch was there. I'm just trying to think of who the other people were. So if you were one of the 13 authors who were with us in 2012, please reach out so that um, you can be part of this um, this this. You know, listen, 13 years, I know other people have done it longer, but we're excited to have our 13th year here in the state of Florida celebrating books and and fresh being, celebrating all genres, fiction, romance, erotica, spiritual, health, happiness, you know, whatever you want the H to be, that's where, you know, or the S or the E. We want you here with us at the Fresh Book Festival. We're celebrating a female filmmaker this year, Sandra Denise Myers, which we are so excited about having. She brings another cultural experience to the book festival. Um, Miss Sunshine Swenson is going to join us from Fort Smith, I think, Virginia. Uh, so excited about her. She's going to give workshops about, um, you know, we have so many issues about women and weight and um, and she is going to let us understand that being a boss has, has nothing to do with your weight. It has to do with your mindset. It has to do with your direction. It has to do with your tribe. It has to do with your drive. And so, Sunshine, I cannot wait to meet you. And uh, and we interviewed her two years ago, maybe, when her first her book dropped. Um, and so it's come full circle. And uh, we can't wait to interview her. And And so this weekend, and that's probably why I have more bags than I normally have under my eyes. We had a, a book event in this city. No, I'm talking about 13 years ago, right? 13 years ago, literacy was important, but we have driven this train to the point where it is in extreme gear at this point. And we had a book event sponsored by the city of Daytona Beach. I want to get everybody. First book, reading, reading Opens the World, Volusia United Educators, FEA, Joe Hearn Events, Sisters Build, the NAACP branch in Daytona Beach, and of course the city, and, and so many other people who were significant in sharing the event and getting the word out. Of course, Fresh was there and Midtown Community Development Corporation was there. And we had 30,000 books. And when I got there at nine o'clock in the morning, the line was around the facility. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I stood there with tears in my eyes because this showed me how far we had come in the 13 years in celebrating literacy. And when you have the mayor of the city on board, the city manager of the city on board, the commissioners on board, the community leaders on board, it could not have been, and is not anything more successful than having people 
in the same mindset that understands that literacy is a legacy and we must leave it behind. Fresh was so excited about being there. Midtown uh, Community Development Corporation is part of our mission to spread literacy across the community. And so 30,000 books later, when I left, there might've been a hundred, that was at noon from nine to 12. And I understand at the end of the day, there was zero left because we had to save some <laughs> for some other events that you know we're gonna give further on in the year, the city's gonna give. And so, you know, whatever they left over, they're just, you know, for those events. But I, I don't think we had many. As a matter of fact, maybe they didn't have any because they wanted to make sure that everybody got a book. And hats off to the community. Baby, you showed up and showed out from Deltona, Orlando, D-Land, New Smyrna, Orange City, Daytona, Sanford, St. Augustine, Palm Coast, Melbourne. I had people there from Haines City, Georgia. Listen, I can only say thank you. I can't, and, and the city thanks you because now we are the world's most famous beach where book reading is a must on the beach you know you gotta go there you gotta take a book with you to enjoy the beautiful atmosphere and take yourself to a place where maybe you'll never be by reading a book so hats off to everybody it was an amazing event at the john h dickerson community center lines wrapped around the building and uh it was a very proud moment for me and my tribe and all the readers out there and writers out there who understand that, you know, reading is a must. It will take you places you have never been and will exceed your expectations if you let it, you know? And we don't care what you read as long as you read, right? You can read comic books, you can read scripts, you can read um, how-to books. Just take a moment, turn off your phone, turn off your internet, internet, turn off your television, 30 minutes a day. Okay, that's too much. So three hours a week, but make it a priority. Make it a priority to stimulate your brain with something that you don't read about or hear about every day. So anyway, I'm off my soapbox. Uh, it was an amazing day. The world's most famous beach is now the world's most famous beach that you read on. So we're excited about just becoming a literacy environment because um, we have tons of schools here, major universities, you know, HBCU, Bethune-Cookman University. Emory Riddle Aeronautical University, Daytona State College, just and Kaiser, and you know, just amazing. So thank you everybody for who came out, who volunteered. There were so many volunteers there. It just it was a heartwarming experience to know that everything that you've been doing for the last 13 years of your life people are finally saying to to themselves and to the community that this is very, very important. So, so thank you. And tonight I interviewed Uli Shuckman, an amazing story. She wrote Uli's Journey, Angels Along the Way. This young lady took a journey from Canada, Alaska, and came all the way down, ended up in Florida as a statement for AIDS, HIV. And because we think it's in the background and you know, oh, there's a cure. No, there's not a cure. There's still a lot of people infected. There's still a lot of people dying. And, and she has really brought this to the forefront that this is not something we should forget about. We still have tons and tons of people who are fighting with this autoimmune disease. 
and in all communities. You know, it 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 does not discriminate. Um, and it has nothing to do with you being an LBGTQ community. It has nothing to do with you being African American. It has nothing to do with you being, you know, from a certain part of the country. It affects us all. And we really need to keep our eyes on HIV AIDS and 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 push for a cure if there can be one. Um, and we've come a long way since the film Philadelphia. And hats off to all the actors that were in that movie who really brought the experience of HIV to the forefront. And um, yeah, so uh, her ride was amazing. Uh, she ended up back in Florida and she tells you about um, her experiences in the wildlife and you know bears and snow and meeting and people and 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 having to rely on the kindness of strangers what a journey I, I i know that i could never do it but she did it wrote about it it's uli's journey uh please pick it up on uh, amazon.com or i don't have her website but look up her website and buy it from a website if you can. She will be joining us uh, at the Fresh Book Festival. Her and her partner, Jackson, who went down this journey with her. Um, and she told us a story about when she saw the bear, they have this, this such a cosmic relationship between her and her dog that she said to him, because one bark would have put a spotlight on where they were. And I think she said it was May. So the bears were just coming out of their habitat from sleeping. They were hungry. They had a constipation and they're angry. <laughs> and so she, yeah, what a journey. What a journey. Her second book, she didn't really give us a whole lot about it, but it's going to be um, about indigenous people. And welcome to Indigenous Day. Uh, for those who are celebrating. And um, yeah, welcome to Indigenous Day. We're glad to make the change. And it's Leif Erickson Day. Thank you, to Mama Tony. Uh, he was the African American, I believe, with the flag on the, the North Pole or the South Pole. Oh my God, I gotta look that up. But uh, Leif Erickson Day also. Uh, so we're gonna start something. Maybe tomorrow, uh, anybody who is a Facebook friend of mine or a part of the YouTube channel, we are going to, and I got this off of TikTok. Some young guys are starting it, but I thought, what a way to learn geography. So what they do is ask people to name uh, three countries that begin with a letter, whatever, J, right? And so it was amazing the amount of people who could not come up with three countries, not cities, not continents, but countries, you start with the letter J. So we're going to start that. And, and I don't want you to Google it. I want you to think about whether you really know it or not, right? Before you Google it, I know some of you guys are going to cheat. But if you do, make a concerted effort to take that and give it to your children or your grandchildren, right? So that's a, another way that they can learn. Um, ask them, you know, get a globe, believe in globes. You can buy a blow up one. You can buy one that you can spin around. But when you find three countries that are, have to begin with a letter J, you can point them out where they are. Because, you know, we talked about this tonight and I think I was, I don't know, 12th grade before I really understood that the United Kingdom kind of sat in the middle of the, by itself, you know, I thought it was this huge place because you know it came and it conquered, you know, countries and people. And so, knowing where you are in the world is very important. Knowing the size of where you are in the world is very important. And I think that'd be a really good way and a fun way to to beef up on G uh, geography. So we're going to start that probably tomorrow. It's, it's getting kind of late in the day. 
Um, what else about the Fresh Book Festival? It is still early bird registration, so please register now. Uh, it will go up, I think, um, mid-November, maybe December the 1st. So you really want to register while the prices are a little uh, lower. And you want to make your reservations at Daytona One. It's a Marriott property. Uh, there's also a jazz festival there that weekend. So the rooms will not last long. So it, just book the, book the room. If you decide you can't come for whatever reason, I think you have 48, 72 hours to let it go, then let it go. But don't decide to come and then not have a place to stay. But, you know, on the website, www.freshbookfestivals.net, there's a list of other hotels in the area that you can uh, book a room at if, if in fact, the Daytona one is uh, full. Wow, let's see what else. An amazing weekend of books. That's all I can say. It was just amazing. Oh, wow. Well, so, um, most of you might not know. Most of you might know. I'm also an author. Uh, Isla's Diamonds, one, two, and three. I-L-A apostrophe S, Diamonds, one, two, and three, are on Amazon.com, of course. And uh, Isla's Diamonds, four, uh, will drop probably November 15th. So look for it. My new publisher is Lee's Press. Uh, if you're looking for a publisher that is about business and about being on time and about giving you a quality product, please go to Lee's Press. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a group of young people who are making their mark in this um, platform of publication and uh I'm here for them. I'm here to help them in any way that, can, that I can. Lee's Press. Uh, I want to thank Dante Production, uh, Mr. Chauncey Dunham, who all year, last night, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday night, was his last uh, production. It was at Cinematique on Beach Street. Mr. David Sylvester and his wife put on a show that was un. Believable, And if anybody, if you're an event planner, if you're an event person, you know what it takes to put on an event, big or small, because it's the, if you take care of the small things, the big things will take care of themselves. So it's all the little nuances that you have to think about. And this particular production was close to perfect. So thank you, David Sylvester. David Sylvester also is a part of a group called Groove out of Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, sir, and your wife for being with us last night. It was amazing. It was just amazing. Okay, so the Fresh Book Festival, it is in the beautiful city of Daytona Beach in February 22, 23, 24. Uh, we're so excited. Please come join us. If you have a book club, come on down, get on the bus, come see us from Georgia from um, South Florida, from the West Coast, come join us. We are really going to be excited about greeting and meeting all of you. Uh, it's not that expensive to get in. Uh, seniors, I think is $5. General admission is eight. If you're an educator, it's free. If you're a student, it's free. Just come join us. We really want to make um, this a special 13th year for everybody involved in the literacy community. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next Monday night with uh, more information on the festival and whoever it is that I am going to interview on uh, next Monday night. We also like, always like to give them a shout out and, um, and look for our new, I want to call it a game. I call it an educational experience. Uh, with learning the different countries of the world. And we're going to start on Facebook probably tomorrow. But think about it. It's three countries that begin with the letter J. And so I'll look for your responses tomorrow. Have a great evening and thank you so much.